what's up everybody, Kaiju Lu here, and Sega Sean, and welcome to Zone 23 of the Super Game Strikers podcast, the official podcast of Game Strikers. And to start things off, we got ourselves the video game fun fact of the week, and I believe this week it is Sega Sean's turn, so take it away, Sega Sean. That it is. Okay, so, fun fact I just found out last night, but um, in Japan, the Japanese language, um... You can't really rhyme in sentences and stuff. That being said, as we all know from Banjo and Kazooie, Grunty the Witch rhymes with everything that she says. But in the Japanese version, she doesn't rhyme at all. She just has a very annoying voice that's really cackly and stuff, and it's just, it doesn't rhyme. So it still sound like... Yeah, yeah, it, it's kind of rant, 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 but I guess the voice, or um, the sentences just aren't in rhyme it's got to be kind of weird to be honest i mean i don't know we're so used to it so yeah but just the little fun fact of the week there yeah it's probably like damn near impossible to rhyme in that language yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh. i don't know oh man all right but uh yeah i played banjo recently i remember grunty rhyming a lot in that music <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah have you um, gotten far in that game um like three worlds in Ooh. so i'm like a third of the way done get more well i want to but i got so many games i know <laughs> <laughs> all, all right righty. video game fun fact of the week no rhyming in the japanese language so in banjo kazooie for the n64 grunty talks normal <laughs> well talks japanese so. apparently yeah <laughs> video game fun fact of the week now on to some Nintendo news. And yes. boy, do we got quite a few things here. So much. Start things off with some more new Pokemon news. Just recently, about a few days back, uh, Pokemon released a new trailer for Sun and Moon for the 3D, 3DS, introducing four new Pokemon. Um, more odd characters. <laughs> like I said, I, I'll be honest, you know, I haven't been... Big into Pokemon, but still by far, after seeing this, this is some of the most odd-looking poke, odd Pokemon I think they'll all I've look ever cute. seen. Really cute. We got Crab Brawler, <laughs> which is pretty much a crab. Yeah. <laughs> a fighting crab Pokemon. Mm -hmm. We got Sandy Ghast, and I believe it's Evolve Form Palo Sand. It's a sandcastle. <laughs> What more can you say? <laughs> That's what it is. It's a sandcastle <laughs> yeah. in the beach. And we have Stuffle, a teddy bear, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you know, so, yeah. <laughs> if you guys want you know, check out the trailer. Go on YouTube right now and check out uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon, their newest trailer. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> but this recently also popped up on the interwebs. Which I believe now it's fake. Um, apparently, Harambi oh, it's real, became man. a Pokemon. It's real. It's fake. No, it's real. It's fake. Didn't you read the article? It's fake. What's That's that a fake. No, those are trolls, man. That's not real. But I read the article. It said it. I did too. I thought it was real too. And you clicked on it? It's fake. Yeah, it is. I got you. <laughs> I got you, though. Even, even our old friend, uh, Souls Jeff, <laughs> made a cameo this morning as I talked to him, and he's like, yeah, you know, that's fake. No, it is. <laughs> I wanted to make sure if you knew or not. Yeah, because I saw the... I didn't bother clicking on it. I did this way later. I saw the picture, I'm like, it's a gorilla, and it's a ghost-fighting Pokemon. Yeah. Although, I will say where that article Why? came from, it's a troll move, but I looked it up. There is a petition, of course. Well, of course. They made a petition for uh, Kong Skull Island Harambe's Revenge. But this one has a lot of signatures and stuff. Uh, you're seeing on the screen <laughs> right now. Isn't there a petition to make Harambe and Smash Brothers? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, although, that... <sighs> That is a topical thing right now, too. Yeah. The Cincinnati I'm Zoo. I'm sure. Another thing, too, I'm about to say, you know, the workers at the Cincinnati Zoo <laughs> even said they are not amused by the Harambe means and they wanted to stop. And I couldn't agree more. Oh, really? Yeah. Why don't you want to it's... pledge your allegiance to Harambe, man? <laughs> Dude, it wasn't just some gorilla. They're taking it, I know that. They're taking it too far, though. <laughs> They gotta stop this. He wasn't just I some gorilla. That. He's not, but this is not how to honor him by sticking your dick But we out. just want. We just want. 
What is wrong, Lewis? I, how can you? What is wrong? You know, like I saw a video too, uh, some guy driving in the expressway, and there's a sign that says "Dicks out to Harambe." Man, you know, it's just a, it's, it's just a commitment no, to try yeah, to get the word out. As soon as I saw that, I'm like, oh, this is going too far now. <laughs> It's not, not going not, too far. It is. It's gone Dude, way too far. I don't far. see anything wrong with it, man. I, mean, they I just, do. They just want to show the love. I do. Just let them rest. <laughs> we are pledging stop. our allegiance. They're making fun of him. That's all they're doing. No, they're not. Lou, you they're not honoring stay. him. They're exploiting him. They're making fun of him <laughs> as a joke. You're not being. You're not pledging your allegiance by turning him into a dank meme. That's for sure. <laughs> um, don't tell me that. But you're a meme. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not gonna repeat that, but no, uh, you know, let let Harambe rest, dude. He's resting right now in the kingdom. Yeah, come on. But you we know, we have to praise him for he was not just some other gorilla. Exploding. Stop using him for your jokes. He wasn't just it, a you know. It's been going on for what five months now. It's, it's although and now I, all this reemergence of Harambe memes <laughs> is happening, and I, for God knows why. I will admit, I'll but real talk though. It it has to calm down. In fact, another. Uh, the creator of Arthur also spoke out recently, and he's like, I wish Arthur and friends would be taken in a more lighter tone than what's yeah, being portrayed on Mr. the internet. Mr. Brown. Must, must, whatever's the, being The portrayed. author of Arthur. Yeah. I forgot his first name, but his last name is Brown. I think it's Mark Brown. Mm. I think. You're right, I think, yeah. But, uh... You know, and we're he's just, a nice guy too. He is, I remember they yeah. interviewed him. He, that man is a saint. I'm sure he's confused. <laughs> yeah, you know, poor guy. <laughs> Just this innocent children's, you know, show. We're just pledging our allegiance, man. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Harambe will live on forever. Besides, more Pokemon news. Um, Kickstarter. Um, it's being funded on Kickstarter. It is not an official Nintendo product or Pokemon product by any means, but it's still pretty cool nonetheless. Um, a Pokemon Go Pokeball controller. Yeah. It's literally the shape of a Pokeball... And uh, it's made of a soft alloy. I don't know what kind of material it is, but you can throw it and it won't break. It's very durable. And you use this device. It's connected uh, to the Bluetooth. And also uh, your phone's camera catches it too, catches the motion. Where while you're playing Pokemon Go, instead of like, you know, I don't know how it works. You click on the Pokeball on the screen. You, throw, you swipe your finger up. You throw the ball, you throw the actual Pokeball controller itself, and it catches the Pokemon for you. Yeah, yeah. Which is really cool. And, um, but still, <laughs> I just thought about it now. I'm like, but it's only one Pokeball, because I know it takes several Pokeballs sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. Try, I'm like, okay, what if you throw it, but you don't catch him? Do you gotta walk gotta by pick him? pick it up or whatever. Honestly, I can't even see this thing being as accurate as it claims to be, to be honest. And also, it works... As a double, it works as a controller and a phone charger. Yeah. Because they said, you know, obviously, it's it's no secret that Pokemon Go is a huge power drain on your phone. So oh, they said, yeah. on the go, charge your phone while searching for, for Pokemon. And, uh... If it works out, fine. But, yeah, I don't know. I can't really see it being that accurate, though. It's funded it's... on Kickstarter, so it oh, might, yeah. it might, you know... It might. It, it might, might not. Mm -hmm. And, um... Well, who knows, you know, so... I can, it looks cool. Oh, yeah. It's a cool idea. And uh, it would be cool if they come up with a way. You throw the Pokeball. You know you know how on the show the Pokeball flies back to your hand? Oh, man. That, that would be cool. That would be advanced. That would be cool. Like, woo, the woo. force. Yeah, that would be very... Ooh. I would do that all day. Oh, yeah, you'd just be throwing it at nothing. Just They make like a special type of, you know... <laughs> this sounds like edgy. They, they make like a special, I don't know, type of magnetic glove. And it connects to the Pokeball. You got this glove on. It's like, you know, it could be like a finger, like a, like an Ash glove. It gotta be a powerful magnet. Yeah, you know, and it's like, woo! Well, that <laughs> might mess with back. the hardware inside. I could see maybe a string or something like that. Have you ever had one of those balls, though, that you... Yeah. You, I love those things. I gotta get a new <laughs> one, man. But uh, maybe they could do that. Uh, also, another Pokemon Go news. I don't know the specifics, but a French mayor... Of a small town. Of a small town in France somewhere... Wants Pokemon Go, it's pretty much demanding Niantic, the company that made Pokemon Go, to ban all Pokemon in his area. And I, I, I just skimmed through it, because, you know, I'm just like, okay. Yeah. And it's, you know, one of the reasons why he says that, you know, you're treating the whole world as a playground. Yeah. 
I don't know. Eh. I mean... Is this like a religious thing, or... No, no, I, I mean, you know, honestly, it's not... I mean, all right, yeah, it sucks for those people that live in that town, but Niantech, the company, they'll remove it if they... You know, businesses have called them up and said, like, hey, you know, I don't like how my business... Oh, yeah, this isn't the stuff. first time, too. Yeah, yeah, but... Niantech is fine with removing it. I think Buddhists too even had problems in their areas. Yeah, yeah. I think by a temple they said, "All Pokemon Go players, please stay away." Yeah, <laughs> please stop running around. Namaste, uh, my brother, but please stay away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, I'm I'm sure it's not going to be that big of a deal. It sucks for the people in the town, but yeah, that's about it. But also, too, a, a study showed too that Pokemon Go right now is actually uh, I guess because you know the whole fad thing. But uh, by mid-July, because I guess, you know, like any fad, how people instantly lose interest and they move on to the next thing and they get tired of the old thing. Yeah. And, well, Pokemon Go is still not even that old. Already, uh, Pokemon Go lost 10 million users. Wow. That's half their users. Because I remember I said in the statistic that over 20 million users daily use it. But they said they, they it dropped by 10 million, which is half I tell you of what, their players. I haven't even opened mine in like weeks. Don't so. even uh, play it anymore because no. they lost complete interest or they just don't care anymore. Like we talked about <laughs> before with the updates of Pokemon Go, I think when the second generation comes... <laughs> and I'm like, you know, this was every Pokemon fan's dream. I know. But this is probably the casuals. Yeah. This show's right here, you know. The ones that are still playing it are those diehard Pokemon oh, yeah. fans who finally yeah. got their dream come true to have oh, po- yeah. virtual reality and uh, real Pokemon in the real world. Yeah. Well, virtual Pokemon in the real world. And, that you know, that other half was just the people that jumped in the bandwagon and are just shows. doing it because it's cool. It's the new thing. They're like, oh, I'm done. Move on to Angry Birds or Candy Crush. Because <laughs> yeah. that's where it's at. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I... I Candy agree. Crush movie? Oh, please, no. <laughs> Don't no, give no, ideas. no. Don't give uh, them ideas. No, but... <laughs> yeah, like I said, as soon as the second generation of Pokemon comes out and more features, I'm sure it'll maybe grow a little bit, but like exactly, you hit the nail right on the head right there. The casuals are just going oh, away yeah. from it. The hardcore fans... But even me, like, I'm just like, I'm kind of in the middle. I'm like, eh, you know. Retro like, Nick? <laughs> I think he hasn't even played it either. Uh, oh, well. Oh, well. C'est la vie. And speaking of more Pokemon news, uh, I found an article, which is pretty interesting to hear, that uh, Nintendo, a long while back, actually... <laughs> there goes my notes. Flying all over <laughs> yeah, the place. notes just flew up. I'll think about going. Uh, Nintendo actually considered making a crossover game with the Pokemon and Fire Emblem franchises. And... Um, you know, I remember, uh, too, like, uh, one of our members of Game Strikers, uh, Michael James Latimer, he said that, he was like, yeah, they actually did something like this very similar way back in 2012 for the DS called, I don't know if you've ever heard of, Pokemon Conquest? Yes. yes. And uh, it was a crossover game. It was an RPG game that had a crossover between uh, Fire Emblem, I mean, not Fire Emblem, Pokemon, and another game, um, probably going to butcher this name here, uh, Nubu, Nubanaga's Ambition. <laughs> That's the name of it. Nubanaga's Ambition. Nubanaga's Ambition, which is also uh, an, soon. <laughs> another RPG <laughs> franchise, oh. which I actually never heard of. Yeah, I never heard of either, but I know what They had a crossover. About. I remember Nintendo was talking about Four it years back ago. for the DS, and it uh, did pretty well. So, you know... And so I could, you know, we can all totally see this happening with Fire Emblem. Yeah, if you ever especially with how, Especially with how big both franchises are. If you ever want to get that game, it's at uh, our local retro store. Oh, is it really? Mm-hmm. I seen it last time we were there. I have never. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, 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 probably a lot, it's probably a lot of money. Uh, I don't know. Probably at least a good 40 bucks. Maybe. Because it's a crossover and it's probably rare. Kind but, of. I yeah, there that. you go. Mm. Um... So yeah, and uh, also, speaking of Fire Emblem news, uh, the art of Fire Emblem Awakening, the official, that is the title, the official, it's the official art book of Fire Emblem Awakening, uh, apparently it's getting published, on, it got published on August 17th, and will be released on October 18th, and I believe, because I heard about this article a year ago about it coming out, and they said it was going to be a GameStop exclusive, but I think it's also available online. 
because Am- I saw Amazon selling it too and advertising it as well. Oh. Because this is something I would love to get as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, it, like I literally said before, it's an art book of the Smash Hit 2013 RPG series, Fire Emblem Awakening. And uh, the art book features in-depth, behind-the-scenes look at beautifully illustrated artist's rendition of storyboards, in-game art, uh, character drawings and sketches, their weapons, costumes, architecture, all that stuff. Everything in the Fire Emblem Awakening universe, all in one beautiful art book. Sounds really exciting, actually. Yeah, definitely. I really want to Are you going to get it? It's pr- I, As far as I saw online, they have it priced at $30. Oh, that's cheap. It's not cheap. bad. So, you know, if I see it at GameStop, oh yeah, you're, you're darn tooting. <laughs> I'm getting my hands on that. I never thought you'd toot so low. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> um, but another Nintendo news, Nintendo is apparently selling their stake uh, in, their, in the Seattle Mariners uh, baseball team. Uh, in Seattle for six hundred and sixty-one million dollars, an unbeatable price, don't you think, Sega Sean? Uh, you know what? I think Nintendo's doomed. I don't think, uh, <laughs> you know, after that, this shows they need money. <laughs> you know, I, I just gonna say, look at all that money. That's not from a game. But for the longest time, um, because you knew about this, yeah, I remember you told me about this a long time ago because I didn't know about it. Yeah. Um, which is funny because the Nintendo headquarters. For the U.S. is in Seattle, right? Yes, yes. And uh, and Nintendo owned 20 percent of the team. Or I don't remember the exact percentage, but like more third? than they do now. You know, I think a third. I a think a third, third, about a third, about a third of the baseball teams. Yeah, so. they had Nintendo events there and stuff. Mario and Luigi and stuff running around and everything. And how come they're selling their stake? Is there any particular Not really, reason? Or? No, really big reason. I don't think, but. Got, them. Got some money for it, so there you go. Pretty much there you go. But the biggest piece of Nintendo news that came out uh, just recently at the closing of the 2016 Olympics at Rio de Janeiro. Um, I believe the two-week-long Olympic event came to a close, and they had a big closing ceremony for it, like they always do. And um, as we all know, if you guys don't know, four more, four years from now, at the 2020 Olympics is going to be held in Japan. Tokyo. Tokyo, Japan, baby, and um, we had a we had a special guest that showed up at the end. Mm. A certain uh, red Italian plumber. Who could it be? <laughs> made an appearance. It ain't Barney the Dinosaur, <laughs> but uh, uh, um, Mario, as man. well as Pac Man and Hello Kitty, yeah. made brief appearances at the promotion at the end of the real 2016 Olymp at uh, real. Rio. Real 2016 Olympics. Rio! <laughs> That's what I was getting mixed up with. They made an appearance and uh, Mario shows up at the Olympics through the pipe and out came out the Japanese Prime Minister, yeah. I believe. He's a very big fan of video games and anime. And oh, wow. I did not know that. Yeah, yeah. That, that's what I thought. I, I thought it was all like, I don't know, because I'm about to say this too, like, lots of people are kind of mad about this. Yeah, not the video game fans. Well, but usually like... the non-video gamers because they think that, you know, this is a complete joke. Because, you know, this is sports, not video games. And also, of course, they take things out of promotion. Mm -hmm. They say, oh, what, is Pokemon Go going to be an Olympic sport? Yeah. You know, what's with all this this anime weeb shit showing (laughs) in the background? Uh You know, this is all exploitation. The Prime Minister is just doing this for political usage and Mm -hmm. all that stuff. And, you know, all that. Because they always got to say something about something. I, and... I can see where they're like, oh, it's all about commercialism now with, you know, Tokyo and stuff like that. But And they're like, what's next? Is Godzilla going to be lighting the torch? Oh, man, come on. It'd be cool, though. But Oh, people would be mad oh. because only honored, like, athletes are the ones. He's an able... athlete. <laughs> he was at the Demolition Derby. An athlete of destruction. <laughs> Ooh. But um, I've seen a logo... <sighs> For the Olympics, the 2020 Olympics, I don't know if this is fan made or not, but in the red ring it has Mario, and the blue ring I don't know this anime character. He was in the in the at the end. It was with the whiskers. He he was with Mario when Mario hopped in the pipe. Did you watch it or no? Yeah, I don't know. I I don't know who that is. Pikachu was in the yellow, and Hello Kitty was in the red. Or no, I already said that. A lot of trolls too said uh, uh, the comments. They kept saying, "Oh wow." um, 
This confirms it that there's gonna uh, in twenty twenty there's gonna be a new Mario and Sonic Olympic Games. Right. I, I well, of course every year they well, always make them. I don't know. They I, said there's they're gonna be a uh, the, the Mario and Sonic at the twenty twenty Tokyo Games. I and I'm like well no shit. Well watch they cancel a series before it happens because I don't know how this recent uh, outing did. I, I think they it would did not pretty cancel because well. that's Tokyo. That's that's the home base. I hope they do because I really hope they go all out with it. There probably are. This is probably gonna be the biggest most popular. <laughs> I hope, I hope, I hope. But like I was saying with the logo or whatever, I wouldn't be surprised because you know how the Olympics have official mascots? Mm -hmm. They're animal mascots. I wouldn't be surprised if Japan's like, you know what? Just have Mario and all these other guys as our official mascots for the Olympics. Now that'd be pretty cool. So hopefully that's the case. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Uh, but yeah, you know, if you guys haven't seen it, it's all over. It's even like one of the top trending videos on YouTube right now. It's playing right now. Closing so, yeah. ceremony. Sorry for the smaller video. I can't mm -hmm. do it with copyright. So there's like these petals falling in the background. But yeah. Mario among other favorites like Hello Kitty. And Pac -Man the ever popular Atman making appearances. Yeah. At the Olympic event. And uh, on that note, on to some movie slash TV slash main media news. So much <laughs> in one package. Uh... Not really, this is the only thing. No, yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, but it's somewhat shocking news, oh. especially to all you Archie fans. Riverdale <laughs> comes to the CW. Mm. Riverdale is literally a live-action Archie TV show. Archie Comics, you know those based guys. On the Archie, <laughs> based on Archie Comics. Yeah. It's a teen drama. <laughs> that's what it's labeled as it's fitting in the category and uh the pilot for the show there's been a, a, a promotional poster of it as we've seen look you've seen the cast of characters on there all of our favorites are there archie reggie veronica betty jughead oh god jughead what have they done to you <laughs> oh. oh but um anyway the pilot is set to premiere around january or february of 2017 wow oh. and uh the pilot too. Um, uh, this this show itself is coinciding with Archie Comics because uh, I don't. I'm not sure if it's this year or next year. It is going to be Archie's 75th anniversary. So yes, Archie is just as old as Captain America, pretty which crazy. also came out 75 years ago. Yeah, pretty nuts. And uh, also, I found out too. Actually, interesting fact: the TV show, the writer of the TV show is actually Archie Comics' chief creative officer. Oh. Who's writing the TV show. His name is Roberto Aguirre Sacasa. Hmm. That's his name. All Full right. name. And, uh, yeah, he works at Archie as the actual Archie Comics' chief creative officer, and the show is produced by Greg Berlanti. So... Hey, at least it's from the main source. It's an actual guy. Probably overlooking the project, so I guess we'll find out. So it might not be bad. I mean, like I said, because the initial thought, oh no, CW, <laughs> yeah. all that stuff. As soon as I seen it, I'm like, no, no, no. Arrow. <laughs> the Flash. Uh, no offense. I Zombie. No offense if you guys Supernatural. like those shows, but I... Uh... Buffy Away. <laughs> She's not doing anything, is she? <laughs> no. Oh, but yeah, I. It could be good because it's fitting. It's teen drama, whatever. Is I haven't. I personally haven't read. I grew up watching the Archie cartoon show called Archie's Weird Mysteries. That was a good. That's show. how I know. That's how I know. That's how I knew. I know Archie, and uh, I haven't read his comics personally, but. Aren't his comics teen dramas, too, or something? Are they? Oh, yeah, I mean, there was that one be? where that gay character got introduced. I'm not being offensive. I'm being serious. Yeah, was, I know. And uh, then Archie oh, died in that one and got shot. <laughs> it's It's got some drama, I'm sure. Shit gets real sometimes in Archie. <laughs> Things are getting real with Jughead. <laughs> uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, and also, in other media news, uh, Sean posted the other day on Game Strikers... Super Mega Man and Cut Man figures. Is this really main media news, or is this like, is this like toys? These are like action figures, so I'll just put them in this oh, category. Okay. All right then, jump of the gun here. Get used to it. <laughs> uh, Super Mega Man and Cut Man figures by Gentinol. That's the name of that. I don't one. know. <laughs> I keep calling it Gentinol. I was just I thinking that it's Gentinol. You're immature. Uh. 
these new figures are now up for pre-order. Well, they've been up for pre-order, but you can pre-order them up to September 9th. The figures themselves are to be released on November 16th, two days before Pokemon Sun and Moon. Uh, these figures, highly detailed. Uh, this is probably another toy company that makes those really nice figures. Yeah, yeah. And, uh... Yeah, they, they look good. They do. So, will you be getting them Sega Sean? I don't have any money. <laughs> All these games, remember September's yeah. like the busiest month for us. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so, and yeah. the NX is going to make us jizz all over the place. So, you know, <laughs> it's like, oh. Uh, Super Mega Man and Super Cup Man by Gentino. Up for pre-order now through September 9th. Available September 16th. Um... Cut Man is quite the cut up, isn't he? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Uh, it was it was slice meeting you. I mean, <laughs> please leave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's cut to the chase. <laughs> <laughs> You're a real cut up. Um, uh, on to some heavy console gaming news. Heavy load. Mm. Oh yeah, new ukulele trailer. Was new revealed. ukulele trailer. U new ukulele trailer. New ukulele trailer. Or gameplay video was revealed at Gamescom yeah. 2016. Gamescom. 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 No, Gamescom. C-O-M? It's C-O-N. No, it's com. No, it's com. For this one, Gamescom. Whatever. <laughs> at a game convention. Gamescom. At Gamescom. 2016, showing off amazing gameplay footage. And uh, as you guys all know, ukulele available on all major game systems. And this game is meant to be the spiritual successor of Banjo-Kazooie, as we talked about Banjo earlier. Uh, I was blown away by this trailer. Really? It looks... The music got to me. Uh -huh. It sounds just like banjo music. Well, it's Grant Kirkhope, the same guy. Uh, it is, you know, I was having all this, I was like, oh, oh, <laughs> so just, just feeling myself, oh. oh. Hey, everybody was, and they're watching Ooh. every trailer, that Grant Kirkhope music, that music, man. it was like me playing banjo mm -hmm. watching this. Yeah, <laughs> those transformations and stuff, and, the uh, showing off, everything. The graphics, every, I'm like, you know... It, it shows beautiful. that, you know, if they brought back Banjo for a new game, Banjo 3, 3E or and they, something. And they put their mind to it. it would look, just imagine, you know, it would look like something like that. Yeah. So, it looked amazing. I have high hopes for this game. And when is it coming out again? Uh, they said the first quarter of 2017 is the projected release date. But they will not release it. They, they claim this. They will not release it until it's done. So, that's fine with me. <laughs> until, okay. It yeah. kind of reminds me. A while back when I told Sega Sean, too, about uh, what Bethesda said. Because, you know, after they announced about uh, Elder Scrolls Six happening, people said after that they haven't heard a single thing about it. Yeah. And people are like, I wonder why, I wonder why, you know, so many questions. And they said, uh, Bethesda stated, they said, we are not going to talk about or reveal anything. Because yeah. people want to see footage, they want to see everything right oh, away. Yeah. They said, we're not going to show anything, advertise, or even speak of Elder Scrolls Six until it is ready to be released. Mm -hmm. Until it's good enough, you know, to be released. Mm -hmm. Then we'll, you I know. I kind of like that, though. I honestly do. Then, then we'll pour it's the hype surprise. through. Because, you know, they want to take care of their games. With ukulele, though, I understand why they're revealing, like, they're not really revealing a lot. They're, they have to show up the game because it's a kickstarted project. Mm -hmm. And people want to see where their money's going. So it makes sense. And, uh, you know, another, like, the Pokeball came from Kickstarter, ukulele. Yeah. As well as a Mighty Number no. 9. He came from Kickstarter. <laughs> Right, you and know. Shantae also. There you go, all these indie... That's looking very, better. Very successful, and... Oh, we got a little pooch here. Yeah. Uh, Sunny's with us. She's <laughs> she's a dog. She's here. But ukulele coming out on all available systems once again. Yes. Uh, Harley Quinn and Deadshot had revealed trailers for Injustice 2, showcasing a segment called Worst Heroes Ever. <laughs> it's a good trailer. Oh yeah, it was really good. And yeah, I take it that this was um, from seeing Harley. They kind of pretty much emulated the Suicide Squad Harley. Oh, this shit doesn't look like it. Uh, they it they, looks, they oh. do have a skin uh, in the mobile version of Injustice with her having the outfit. 
She so. even comes in this game with the Joker Hounds. Yeah. Or the Hyenas. I'm the not hyenas. sure. I don't know hyenas. if they call them Joker Hounds. I don't, I don't, I don't know. know. I'm not sure if they're dogs or hyenas. If only Retro Nick was here. <laughs> yeah, because Joker did have, they had hyenas. But yeah, I'm not yeah, sure I if remember. these were just dogs, vicious dogs, or the actual I think hyenas. they're hyenas. Okay, because they got like little color clown mohawks. Yeah, yeah, they have like <laughs> spots on them like hyenas. I'm pretty sure they are. Anyway, they, they showed laugh. off. They, they showed off uh, the gameplay of both uh, anti-heroes or villains or what have you, and uh, looks really good. Yeah. They look really good, and uh, Injustice 2 going to be a really big fighting game, and everyone, you know, the hype's been there for that. Oh, so, yeah, definitely. Especially with, the, you know, the use of robots, mm. you know, those suits and stuff. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a big fighting game. Can't wait. <laughs> it's probably going to blow Mortal Kombat away. Well, Not it's made by it. Mortal Kombat. Yeah, I'm just guys. saying. So, you know, I mean, it's fine. But, they, you know, they'll probably even outdo their original <laughs> creation. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Uh, so, yeah, Harley Quinn, Deadshot, uh, for Injustice 2. Weren't they in the first ones? I never played it. So. Um, or Deadshot, no. I don't think so. I think he's replacing. Um, what's the guy that Batman fought in um, Arkham Origins? The main. Bane? No, the other one. But Killer the orange. Croc. Orange. Orange oh, Black. Deathstroke. Yeah, I don't think Deathstroke is in this game. If he is, fine, but he Deathstroke oh, was in the first because, one. you know, yeah. he's your ideal fighting character. In a fight. Yeah, yeah. But uh, Harley was in the last one, for sure. All right, then. Um, also, too, uh, just a side thing, uh, Final Fantasy, some Final Fantasy fifteen news. Uh, let me get out the notes. Sorry about that. Final Fantasy fifteen Square Enix releases new a new video featuring for apparently the first time the english voice actors and uh i'm not sure where this was at but uh the voice actors were also were all there they also each discussed the personalities of each of the characters and you know and performing as that character and what it's like and pretty much an in-depth analysis of 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 the of the character and stuff but a final fantasy 15 a very big game uh Coming out soon. Lots of hype for it. Lots of hope very, for it. Very hype. Apparently, you know, uh, probably the biggest Final Fantasy game to date since seven. I gotta say, probably. But uh, yeah, Final Fantasy fifteen uh, coming out uh, November twenty ninth. Did it get delayed though? I'm not sure. Oh, okay. I thought it got delayed or whatever. Oh well, whatever. That's fine. If we're wrong, we're wrong. Whatever. Mm hmm. And, uh, also, just recently as well, new Resident Evil 7 footage being shown off. And, uh, I don't want to call it gameplay, because it honestly looks more like a cutscene, where it is, uh, new Resident, it's called new Resident Evil 7 footage surfaces, and it, it pretty much shows more of a background and more in-depth of the, uh, plantation from the, uh, you know, the plantation of where the game takes place, the big scary house. It's pretty spooky. And, uh, did you see that? Yeah, like, I watched the gameplay, yeah. It, it's the one gameplay? with the lantern, right? Um, yeah, the girl with the lantern. Oh, man, oh, I was on the edge of my seat. The end. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> I need to hide. Did you even play the demo yet? No. Oh. I don't want to be, be spooked. It. I'm alone. <laughs> the ending, though. Oh, um, you're going to get spooked at the ending. I don't want to. Oh, yeah. Although I kind of laughed. We're going to play it as soon as this is over. You know how long it's going to take to download? I thought you already downloaded. No. It, it, it's not going to take long. It's PlayStation 4. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all right, it may not take that long, but it's going to take Don't like... give the PS4 that much credit. <laughs> Let's see if we do this. Oh, wait, it does. Uh, uh, anyway, please check out this new Resident Evil 7 footage. And um, first person game, herbs are in the game. <laughs> that's, that's what we know so far. Yeah. And uh, set to be released January 24th. <sighs> biggest, at least to me, the biggest piece of cringe news to date, Metal Gear Survive. Oh, this thing. I, you know, I was wondering, I'm like, we haven't gotten to this yet. <laughs> Metal, no, I, this is the second to last thing. Yeah. I say, I'm saving this gem. Konami, as many of you probably know, just recently announced the newest Metal Gear game coming out Lord knows when, probably next year. Um, it's a co-op game that is set in an alternate universe that features 
monsters and zombies. The trailer is playing right now. Yeah. I seen. I watched the trailer all the way. Yeah. And I'm not even familiar. Well, I mean, I kind of ended after watching things, but uh, ooh. What a way. Uh, <laughs> Why were they getting sucked up in the air? This is all through the universe thing. Crystal likes zombies with these things, and. Uh, I have nothing else to say right now. <laughs> I'm really, I'm literally sad inside. I, I'm it like, is such a oh. sad thing because what a way to pretty much, you know, Konami's way of saying, you know, of shitting on Hideo Kojima's lifelong work because the man spent his whole thirty years. That's a that's like a third of a person's life on on, on, on making this game, on making it. What it is today, making it a household name, making Snake one of the most iconic video game characters, and this is what happens. First Silent Hill went into the shitter, now he did, I don't know. I know, you know, it's Cap, not Capcom. Uh, They're another one of them. Yeah, <laughs> no. Yeah. no, it's true, it's true. What's their, what's their fucking face? I'm sorry, Konami. 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 You know, I know they own the rights, but I know, I just wish Nite Nintendo, I just wish Hideo. <laughs> Hideo, you know, because he has his own thing now, Hide you know, Kojima Productions, making Death Stranding his huge comeback, Yeah. and I, I just wish that he just, you know, left with the rights to Metal Gear, and, you know, Silent Hill, because I'd rather have, you know, these wonderful games, never see the light of day again, and just be over with, than to spare them this suffering, this great injustice I will say the graphics do games. look nice, though. That's the only thing. Yeah, okay, I guess. Uh, Call of Duty bullshit. So. I, I, I mean, I'm just saying, I mean, the graphics do look pretty good, and I'm pretty sure they're it's using... Just, it's like, like what you said, it's just Call of Duty, but they just throw the name on it, just slap the name on it. Yeah. Metal Gear. Yeah. So it's a Metal Gear game. I don't think Metal Gear will survive this one. <laughs> oh. Yeah. No. Oh, man. What, what was your... So did you watch the trailer right away, or did you read the article that you found this on? I read. I looked at articles first because okay. I, I didn't know about it first until I saw the article, and then I saw you posted it before. Because when I saw the article, I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <I> was, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> drinking your morning coffee. What the fuck? Pretty much, I got my robot. Yeah, <laughs> another beautiful morning ruined. Just uh, surfing through the web. Yeah, on some of the looking looking for the for the nice reddest red hot game news. Yeah. Just for you fans out there. Because <laughs> we do it best. <laughs> We're the best, guys. It's <laughs> okay. Uh, and then I saw this travesty, this abomination. Mm. It's pretty much using the same engine well, as Metal Gear Solid Five. So. Uh, it'll end up in the $20 bin in no time. Yeah, that's what we both <laughs> said. It pretty much is. Pure trash. Everybody's bashing on them. And then Konami released, like, fan art. I commented, if Konami released fan art of... Somebody actually did fan art of Metal Gear Survive. Oh. And I commented, there's a fan? <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, like uh, I remember you said, too, you said, like you said it best, uh, the people that support it, way to, way to be optimistic, but just to let you know, you guys are the minority. You are the minority <laughs> you, you support the minority. this. Get used to it. Just like Umbrella Core and Resident Evil, those... those 500 players that played online, that's the minority. Don't don't get your hopes up if you want to Which be Which are most likely just casual shooter fans. Yeah, yeah. Or co COD fanboys. Yeah, I mean, who knows? Maybe this game could be a good shooter, but the fact yeah, is, is that you, you know, are pooping on the franchise. Pretty much. That's not the way to go about it. And like I said, it. this is my personal opinion. The only reason why Konami is still afloat is Yu-Gi-Oh! Because mm -hmm. Konami owns Yu-Gi-Oh! Because Retro and Nick buys all those cards. They make the cards, <laughs> and Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! itself yeah. makes millions and billions of dollars each year. Because all the weebs go out and buy the cards. So that's probably their main reason why they're still here. <laughs> they're still a thing. Yeah. Uh, you know, even after Hideo, Hideo left. Well, that's my two cents on this. Any final words to this, Sega Sean? No, I mean, we pretty much said what we had to say. Yeah, rest in pepperoni. On to the last piece of video... Last piece. <laughs> piece. The last piece of video game news. Mm. Sony plans to reveal two new versions of the PlayStation console, of the PlayStation 4, this coming September. The PS4 Neo... 
and the PS4 Slim. Oh, they, some talk has been revealed about the Slim. The Slim comes with 500 gigabytes. I, <laughs> Which I'm like, my PS3 has 500 gigabytes. Yeah. How is it? Not you know, in today's day that ain't gonna next, work. Supposed to be next gen. All these heavy ass games are supposed to be on there. Yeah. How? You I, probably only gonna fit about two games. That's well, it. Well, I commented on it. How, how the fuck do you expect this to compete with the Xbox One Slim? Yeah. Which has four terabytes. Terabytes. Four terabytes? I think. I don't know about four, man. That's a lot of memory. Well, you're going to need all probably all that. Uh, or two terabytes. Maybe two. I might mistake two terabytes. Maybe, because four is a lot. That's, it's got a couple of terabytes, that's That'll for probably sure. be the next generation of Which video Which is a games. lot. A terabyte's a lot more than a gigabyte. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Some people, I, I commented it's on this It's pointless one. making this slim. I know. PS4 slim. Another thing, too, because is you, the, Because you got the Neo. The Neo is coming out. The, I thought the Neo was going to be... Sony's answer to the to the Xbox One Slim, no, no, was going to be the competitor. The Neo is an upgraded version of the PlayStation Four. The PlayStation Four is just regular, and the PlayStation Four Slim is like. I know, but I'm just Slim saying, you know, like, I, I thought, you know, but I'm just saying it's going to be their, you know, to compete because it'll be like, oh, Microsoft has this uh, Slim version that has all these terabytes and stuff and 4K. Well, let's see you stand up to this. <laughs> and that's the know. Neo. I mean, apparently you can just well, get a... what's going to buy the Slim? Unless you're a casual. Yeah. I can see casuals getting it. But everyone's going to go for the You might as well just Neo. get the regular PlayStation 4 because... Pretty much. The Neo is like... And hey, and hey, just like Xbox One Slim when it came out, and probably too when the Neo comes out, even when the Slim comes out, you know, they're going to reduce the price of the regular PS4, so there's oh, yeah, the time that'll, to that'll get that'll it. That'll be down very soon. It'll go down by probably 50 bucks, just like how the Xbox One did. It went down by 50 box so yeah yep. uh, i don't know we'll see what happens uh the event though there's going to be a playstation event right? in september september i don't know the date uh, so well the date's on the screen right yeah. now i think it's september 7th and then the, supposedly the playstation 4 slim releases the 14th so yeah i guess the conference is also at 3 p.m so this Eastern is like time an E3 type of deal, but kinda, pretty much for Sony only. Yeah, kind of like a And they're pretty much going to, like, you know, uh, once again, talk about all the upcoming games, yeah. like God of War, yeah, Resident just Evil, to show probably. Off it and VR. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it's mostly going to be about the Neo, though. So. Yeah, probably. Probably going to have 4K and... Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, all the works. I, yeah. If you want to compete with Microsoft, so... If you want to compete with the NX. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not, I was about to say, meanwhile, Nintendo's yeah. just sitting in the corner. Counting all that money they just, just got from the Seattle Mariners. Just just, just, just sitting in the corner looking pretty. Mm -hmm. so. You want to release another sequel to Pokemon Go? No, it's too soon. Shiggy's like, ah, oh, I did it anyway. Oh. Reggie with the cigar in his mouth. <laughs> Eh, let them have their fun. <laughs> That's what they're doing, really. That's what they do all the time now. They're just like, let all these... Oh, shit. September 2. It's oh. supposed to be a reveal for the NX. Yeah, probably later in September or something. Because they said that it was a rumor. It's not confirmed yeah, not yet. Confirmed, it's the first but... physical uh, reveal of the NX. So The NX is coming out right now! <laughs> oh, what would you do? Mewtwo in the room! <laughs> what would you do? I would be... Oh, God! <laughs> Mom, give me the money! <laughs> uh, I'm Ooh. like... I'll just be like, what do I do? <laughs> Exclusive Phoenix Wright at Vivo! <laughs> oh, no! Phoenix Wright, the next game gets a physical release on the Wii U. It's a surprise announcement. No. It's his anniversary. He deserves it. Limited mm -hmm. edition Phoenix Wright NX. <laughs> Well, All this information. I'm going to go in the corner and cry now. <laughs> but on that high note, uh, <laughs> please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Super Game Strikers. And like us on Game Strikers on Facebook. This is Kaiju Lu. And Sega Sean. Stay tuned for more future content to come. Oh. And please take care. I guess please. Please.